Welcome back. All this week we are highlighting some of the positive change makers across Southeast Wisconsin. In partnership with our friends over at the Milwaukee Business Journal, we're sharing some of the 2022 40 under 40 class members today. With us this afternoon, Amy Clark. She is the Senior Supply Manager at Molson Coors and Antoine Carter. He's the Director of Neighborhood Partnerships for Imagine MKE. Congratulations to both of you and thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Antoine, let's start with you. Tell us all about Imagine MKE and what it does out in the community. Um, Milwaukee is one of the few cities that does not have a central arts and culture um, organization coordinating. Um, so Imagine fills that hole. And my work is around aligning arts and culture organizations, initiatives, and ideas with community goals and objectives. So trying to figure out how, to, how art and culture um, is a vehicle to drive public safety, civic engagement, workforce development, economic development, things like that. Amy, we know what Molson Coors does, but explain to us uh, how you help get the beer to the people who needs it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I am in procurement, so I help uh, negotiate contracts. I help with supply chain management, um, and I am kind of the middleman between the beer and the suppliers. Okay, we've covered your day job. Tell us about the work you do uh, that's really the reason uh, you're being recognized. It's the Women's Center of Waukesha. Wh what do you do with them? Um, I've, I've been able to volunteer quite a bit with the Women's Center of Waukesha. Um, I've also been able to be involved with quite a few other um, areas within the Milwaukee community. Um, I'm involved with Emerging Women Leaders, which is a subgroup of Tempo Milwaukee. Um, I was a co-chair of the 16th annual Tempo Leadership event this year. Um, we hosted about 1,100 of our closest colleagues and friends um, to have a conversation with Olympian Alec Allison Felix. Um, and it was a, a huge success and an awesome opportunity to be a part of. Antoine, what does it mean to you that you are now one of the, the 40 under 40? Um, it's, it's a really amazing honor. I actually saw that today, eight years ago, I made a goal to be a uh, 40 under 40. And so it yeah. was very, <laughs> yeah, it was very ironic that uh, today was the day I was announced. So um, I'm just truly humbled and appreciative that um, the work that I've been doing over the course of my career is being highlighted. Uh, there's something to be said for if you, uh, if you put it down on paper, you put it out into the universe and, Seriously. and, and you are heard. Uh, mm -hmm. Amy, what's this mean to you? Um, very similarly to Antoine, this has been a goal of mine since I knew what the 40 under 40 was. And um, it's something that I am incredibly humbled to be a part of. And I, I can't thank my network, my, my mentors, my friends, um, my support network at, for all of um, the support getting to this point. Okay, you've both said that 40 under 40 was a goal for both of you. You're here. What do you do now from here? What's the next goal to make sure that, you know, you, ha you haven't peaked too soon? Jump ball, who wants it? Um, I would say continuing to challenge myself. Um, a lot of my work is in the art field, so continuing to um, enhance the vibrancy of Milwaukee any way I can. So continuing to do the work, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Amy? My goal is to help others get here. Um, I know it's, it's a goal for a lot of people that I know. So if I can help pave the way and if I can help others reach this too, I, that's my goal. Well, congratulations to both of you on this honor and good luck to both of you in whatever challenges you decide and are probably likely to conquer next. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. The Biz Journal will continue releasing more honoree names in the coming days. For more on the 2022 40 under 40 class, bizjournals.com slash Milwaukee is the place to go.